днем рождения! Camila Valiva, before performing in her native Kazan on the Atari Tupperids show, told if Tatter was spoken in her family. At home they speak Tatter only when they want to keep secrets. I myself do not know the language, I manage to learn only the most basic words, so I do not understand their speech. Larissa Urasova explained why figure skater's choreography should be on a par with jumps. And she told how strip plastic is useful. Every year, more and more new discoveries appear in Russian figure skating. This season, the group of Irina Smirnova showed herself cool, showing the fans such talented skaters as Ivan Popov and Victoria Morozova. Vanya and Vika stood out not only for their high-quality equipment, but also for their extraordinary programs. Their director was Larissa Urasova, a young choreographer who has been working with Smirnova's group for four years, Larissa has her own view on choreography. Larissa, tell us about your path in figure skating. I started figure skating at the age of four, my mother brought me to the rink to the group with Irina Aleksandrovna Smirnova. All my life I have skated with Irina Aleksandrovna, completed the master of sports. But I had a very early puberty, and at the junior level everything broke off a little, because the growth of plus 20 centimeters in a year failed. I got to the Master of Sports, and then I began to work as a coach with Irina Aleksandrovna. Have you decided not to part with figure skating? No, I always knew that I would connect my life with figure skating, I had no other option. Since childhood, I knew that I would definitely be a coach, I wanted to put on programs, I always liked it. Even as a child, when I was given programs, the choreographers always scolded me for constantly adding something of my own. I thought it would be prettier that way. All the time I wanted to put something, I really loved to ride. I was indifferent to jumping. It turns out that Irina Aleksandrovna immediately hired you as a choreographer? No, I did not immediately become a choreographer. At first, she simply put small children on skates. There were many children, Irina Aleksandrovna then put on programs for everyone herself. But at some point she did not have enough time, and she gave me two children, so that I could put programs on them. I staged, Irina Aleksandrovna liked it, and from that moment I began to stage programs, first for young children, then for older ones. And so slowly, two years after I started working, I began to put programs. She started working at the age of 15. Do you only put on programs or do you also work out in the gym? In the hall we are engaged in a jazz class, but we also try other directions. I also give a little theatrical skill. I study at Gittis at the Department of Figure Skating Choreographer, and I want to pass on a lot of the knowledge that they give me there to children. At the jazz class I give them contemporary, jazz funk, hip-hop. I prefer classical choreography to be given by ballerinas, because this is such an important area of figure skating, that I think only ballerinas should give it. Elena Natalievna Tchaikovskaya gave us a task at Gittis, called the method of observation, I like to give it to children. You need to observe some person, animal and convey it so that it looks like, at the exam, for example, I showed a seal, passed it then, laughs. We improvise a lot so that the children themselves can express their creative potential. It's not enough just to ride the way you were set, you need to feel the movements yourself. I like it when children themselves offer ideas it immediately turns out much more interesting, the program is more intense. What place do you think choreography should take in the training process of a figure skater? It is desirable that it be in the same place as the jumps. In my understanding, now is a time when just jumping is not enough. You need to skate beautifully and convey images and emotions. It should definitely be tantamount to jumping. Is it right that figure skating is now returning to the value of choreography? Or does jumping progress kill a little? Judging by our competitions, we do not have any regression in the jumping field. It is very good that they are trying to get away from the period when only jumps were the main thing, and the second mark is beginning to be appreciated. 
Still, figure skating is a very aesthetic sport, and I would not want us to leave this. I really like it when the program is shown as a kind of story, like, for example, Adam Shyam Fa this year. He had two programs staged as one story in two parts. I don't remember how he jumped, I just remember the beautiful programs that I incredibly liked. So the choreography is really an important component? Certainly. Even if you jump badly, you can be remembered precisely because you skated very beautifully. If you jump medium, then you can get out due to the fact that you skated the program very cool and remembered it. And if there are quads and good skating is present, then it's just super. It is always very sad for me to watch when children jump well and eat up the program. I scold my children very much for this. They are worried that they will lose something on the jump, but I explain to them that in terms of choreography, they will lose the same points. Because what you lose or win with technique can be reduced or increased by a second score. You can't forget about this. A figure skater must pay a lot of attention to choreography. Work on choreography usually begins in the hall. Now many skaters have begun to master some modern genres. How important do you think this is? Modern choreography is definitely important. It is clear that the classics are our base, we can't do without it. But since music is now taken very differently, not only classical, but also modern, there you need to be able to control your body very well. I really like to give contemporary it is inconvenient, uncomfortable, and makes you feel such points of the body that you do not feel in the usual classics. Their body immediately starts to work differently, on the ice they become more flexible, it is easier for them to make elements. Contemporary is very developing in the sense that you can do something non-standard, because there is a separation of different parts of the body, they can work in a variety of ways. This year I like Kevin Amos's short program with elements of jazz funk very beautiful. I rarely like modern programs. Why? Because it must be done very cool. You can't take modern music and just drive beautifully under it. It should be very cool and very interesting so that it hooks. Recently, many skaters began to practice strip plastic. Is this style good for figure skating? I think it liberates well, adds plasticity. But to a greater extent it works for emancipation. Athletes are most often very closed people, and such a view as strip plastic liberates girls well. Are there any other dances or exercises for liberation? A lot of improvising in front of a mirror to different music. I like to take children individually and play different music for them in the hall. We dance, we try. For the first time they are shy, pinched, the second time better, and for the hundredth time there is no embarrassment. Tell us, how do you find ideas for productions? Always different. With some children, you know in a year what you will put on for them, for example, you heard the music, and you immediately understand who it will suit. With those with whom we have been working for many years with Vika Morozova, with Vanya Popov, we already know exactly what suits them. Although when I put on Vika's short program under Alla Pugachivas do not renounce loving, everyone was against it, they said that it would be difficult. And I immediately knew that she needed to put under this music. I persuaded Irina Aleksandrovna, she said that I knew for sure that it would be good. I think we managed to convey this music, despite the fact that Vika is still quite small. I'm satisfied with what happened. Sometimes you hear cool music in films, in computer games, and you understand that you can put a cool program under it. And sometimes the children themselves are asked to put under certain music. And if this is something not from the non-standard, then we most often agree. Especially if these are adult children, such as Vanya. Vanya is already 18 years old, and you can't really argue with him, he comes and says, I want to ride to this music. What are you going to do here? How often should you take risks? Is it better to take options that are 100% successful, or is it also necessary to do something extraordinary? You definitely need to take risks, because without risk there will be no progress. But try to keep it close to the athlete anyway. 
if it is clear that this suits the athlete, that he is comfortable in this, albeit not easy, of course, this is a winning option. But, I think, if you work hard, then any child can roll out any style. Do you usually prefer classical or modern compositions? It depends on the children in different ways. In general, I sincerely believe that adult athletes who have a very good level of skating can ride the classics. Great music cannot be spoiled by bad, even average skating. It should match the level of the music. You can't roll Tchaikovsky mediocre, it should be cool. Most often, we choose something related, like, say, this year's free program at Vika. And then, at first we thought for a long time whether Vika would be able to roll out this program, because it is very difficult, especially the second part is very emotional. But this is a more modern classic, so we took a chance, and it worked out quite well. Well, Vika also really liked this music, she really wanted such a program. When she heard the music, she said, it's very difficult, but I really want to. Most often I take some more modern options. I really like music from musicals, from Notre Dame, from Romeo and Juliet. But Romeo and Juliet has already been staged by a lot of people, and it's hard to find something there that isn't very hackneyed. Why is the same music often used in figure skating? Most often, good music is repeated, and each director has his own vision of this music. Very rarely there are people with the same vision of this or that music, everyone wants to convey something of their own. Sometimes it turns out that someone improves some productions. Sometimes it happens that they repeat after idols, when I skated, I loved Mao Asada very much, and I played three music after her, I really wanted to. And so, yes, most often good music is repeated. Of course, I want to convey it in my own way. I think that's the point. What do you think, should we try to avoid these repetitions? Yes. Of course, it is desirable to avoid. Sometimes, when I bring some music, Irina Alexandrovna recalls that she saw it somewhere, someone skated not so long ago. We try to make sure that the music is not very repetitive. The idea was for Vanya's short program with a monologue, we liked that this had never happened before. There were poems, but there was no monologue. We really wanted to stage something unusual for Vanya. And how can you interpret the composition, which has already been often used in figure skating, in your own way? I think repetition is hard to avoid. Add your own choreography. It still won't work the same. But, it seems to me, if you put repetitions, it should be better. To repeat the same bolero after Camila Valiva, I think no one will risk it for a long time, it was a very good program. I personally remember her very well. And if we take a repeat, then we need to do better. This is a difficult job, because you need to do it so as not to be associated with anyone. After a lot of ultrasy appeared in figure skating, has it become more difficult to put programs? Of course, it became more difficult. Most often, it is advisable not to bet anything on trips to quadruple jumps, and this greatly ties the hands of the directors. So you want, for example, to put something on the accent, but there is already a collision, and you can't do anything. You have to adapt what to do. How can you strike a balance between technique and aesthetics of skating? This is the art of a figure skating choreographer. Of course, first of all, we arrange the technique so that it is convenient for the child to jump these jumps. This is also in the interests of the choreographer, because the program is spoiled if the jumps are bad. A beautiful program is pure jumps. When there are crashes, of course, the program breaks at that point. We start by cutting the music. It should be cut in such a way that you initially know what the pattern will be, when the athlete will make jumps in time, and from this layout according to accents. This complex work begins with music, with cutting it is already easier to adjust. Does it happen that the rules that exist for productions fetter you? Certainly. We study at Giddis with a lot of ballet guys, and, of course, it's easier for them in this regard all their productions are based on aesthetics. 
We are limited by many things. I would like it to be allowed to use items it adds a lot of character to the program. We recently staged a demonstration for Vanya Popov. We did a number where he was a young man who writes letters to his beloved. Of course, with these pieces of paper it looks very beautiful. It's hard to transfer an item when you can't use it. I would really like to be allowed to use items. What else would you like to add to figure skating? I heard many times that they want to introduce an artistic program. I would love to see her show up. Sometimes it's a shame that a child cannot show everything he is capable of. When we look at skaters who skate with quadruple jumps, we can say 100% that without jumps, they would have done much better choreography. They will be twice as plastic, twice as choreographic, twice as emotional. Of course, jumping is stressful. I would really like to have some opportunity for the skaters to show their choreographic potential. Relax from jumps, from rotations and just show your ability to ride. You said that you really like the programs of Mao Asada. What other favorite performances do you have in figure skating? Wu Kim Yunanadio's Nanino in 2014 I really liked. In 2010, James Bond she skated very beautifully. Usually it is rolled more courageously, but hers was very beautiful, girlish. Almost all of Patrick Chan's programs. These are absolutely masterpieces. It doesn't matter that he jumps, you can only look at his skating it's very beautiful. My favorite skater, in principle, is Yuzuru Hanyu. I like all his programs, to be honest. I really like his Seimei program. She is so energizing. I watched his performance at the 2018 Olympics on TV and was directly charged with this energy. Of the girls, Mao Asada and Kim Yuna have been my love for a very long time. And, of course, I really like Camila Valiva. I really like her bolero. This is very difficult music, but it turned out to be very cool to skate. And many, on the contrary, criticize Camila's bolero. There was an image of a snake, which is not particularly characteristic of this music. In my opinion, this is a very cool program. In general, this production is complete, there is a readable image. And I will not say that the image does not match the music. Together it looked very good. And what programs do you remember most of all this season? Lona Hendricks had an interesting short program. It is so incendiary, it seems to me that it was hard to roll on the breather there. But it was cool, I really liked it. I like Sayoma Uno's free program this season. It is purely in his style, which looks very advantageous. Do you have a favorite choreographer in figure skating? I really like Benoit Richo, he puts on very unusual versatile programs. He puts in different styles, it can be something very slow, beautiful, or it can be something modern, something that no one has put under. I like that he always goes for experiments, takes risks. I follow him on social networks, he uploads some music, and I think, stunned, how will he put it under this? And then once Anna turns out something really cool. Can you describe your style? What is the most important thing for you in a production? It is very important for me that there is a story, that it is a small performance from beginning to end. For example, this year we staged a free program for Vika, we had a story that she falls asleep, and in a dream sees some of her mistakes, fears, she is very worried. But she struggles with it, overdoes it. And in the end he wakes up and realizes that it was just a dream. I thought it was cool, and Vika really liked this idea. Do you think figure skating is primarily a sport or an art? I think it's a sport and we are not going anywhere from this. A lot depends on the technique, so it's a sport.